So this question is a diagram question. I know that because of the visual provided to me. More specifically, this is a graph question. We see that the X axis is temperature. The Y axis is sales in dollars. And you know the topic here is ice cream sales. So the question says the scatter plot above shows a company's ice cream sales D in dollars. So this is actually the D axis, according to the question, and the high temperature T in degrees Celsius. So this is actually like the T axis, according to the graph here. On 12 different days, a line of best fit for the data is also shown, right? So we see, we see that this is our line of best fit attached to that circle. Um, which of the following could be an equation of the line of best fit? Okay, so equation of the line of best fit, equation of the line, hey, that's code for you need to be using y equals mx plus b, right? That's code on the SAT for you need to be using the slope-intercept form of an equation of a line. Now, for us, the y, at, the y is actually a d value, and then the x is actually a t value, but everything else is pretty much the same. The B is the Y intercept. M is the slope, right? So if I'm trying to find which one of these answer choices matches the, uh, the line of best fit here, then I'm just gonna figure out, well, where, where's, the, where's the Y intercept on this graph? And maybe I'll need to also figure out what is the slope of this graph. So where is the Y intercept? So the Y intercept is a little tricky here because this is actually not the y axis, right? We have you know, our t value or our x value here is 10. The y axis should be where the t value is zero. So I need to do something a little strange here and actually extend, right? This will be eight and then six, right? So each of these units is two, as we can see, 10, 12, 14. So going backward, 10, eight, six, four, Two, and then I have to go even further to get to zero. And then when I do that, I need to also say, well, I'm going to extend this line as straight as I can. See, well, where would it cross the y-axis? So it looks like it's going to cross, like if this is 400, we're going under that. This is 300, we're going below that. Right? If I were to extend this here, maybe 200 would be here. We're definitely going below that. 100 will be here. It looks like we're maybe even going to get below that potentially. But when I look at the answer choices, my options for a y-intercept are 402, 384. Well, I've just proven that it can't be either of these. So choice D must be the best answer, 84 for the y-intercept.